All right, shalom, shalom. Uh, first and foremost, Kaholo Yamla Abanawa Yahawa Bahashem, Hamashiki Hawashai, Bahashem Hawa Kakodash. Double honor to our elders, Apostle James Holwa, and Shalom, Wabrakiam, Labakoyam, Shoya Shralo. That to say peace and blessings to the elect of the Nashar Ezra, Yakao, that's the Hebrew name of whom the world, Ignotical God, the God of Abraham. Isaac and Jacob, Yahweh means he is, he to be, he exists, the being that existed before time, also known as the Ancient of Days, and Yahweh Shachamashiach, that's the Hebrew name of his beloved son, whom the world ignorant called Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai means he who saved, he who deliver, the savior of the elect, or the Israel, she also called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. West Indians and Haitians, you know, according to the Bible, or God chosen people, Bacha Shem Bacha, which means in the Shem name, or called Spirit in the name of the Holy Spirit, which allow us to be able to understand this good news. This was in the Paleo Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, the Lashon Kodash, the Holy Tongue, the language that Yahweh Shai spoke to Saul, which became Paul on his way to Damascus. The language of the heavens, and once again to what Yahweh Shimshah for Allah also be able to understand the truth. You now I want to I want to do a short lesson real quick and low while I'm satisfying. The title the title of this lesson going to be stayed up and prayed up because like uh, now man at any days any hour any seconds things can change man you know because uh, we understand perfectly that things has to get worse. Before they can get better, before the kingdom can be established, everything has to turn uh, turn into chaos, and we're looking forward to it. We embrace it because um, you can't you can't run away from it. You have to uh, uh, brace for the impact. You know that's how it is, man. Any given days now, man. Any given day now, things might my 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 pop off. You might wake up one day, uh, and you see, uh, you know. The collapse of the economy, or, 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 or it's like a, a, a terrorist attack. Any day now, I man, something can happen, and that's exactly we have to be aware of what's going on in the world because uh, what's going on down there in Ukraine with Russia, that's gonna, uh, that's affecting affecting you Americans' life, man. And uh, and the closer and closer we get to the great day of Yahweh Shimshai, the more things are gonna be in your face up close and personal you're not gonna have the option to deny those things you're not gonna have an option you're not gonna have an option to walk away from these things they're, they're gonna be all all over all around you all over you man you know matter of fact i got a few precepts this is uh, luke 21 uh verse uh matter of fact oh this chapter uh matter of fact luke 21 verse uh 34 and take heed to yourself Lest at any time your heart be overcharged with suffering and chokedness and care of this life. Because like this world that we're living right now is temporary. You know, the system is temporary. You know, America is temporary because eventually this place is going to pass away. And chokedness and care of this life and so that they come upon you unaware. So you have to be aware of what's going on. You, know, you gotta watch. You know, the scripture says that the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai will come as a thief in the night. A thief coming to your house, a thief coming break into your house when you least expecting it, when you're uncomfortable. That's how the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai gonna gonna come to the uh, compare, uh, uh, gonna come uh, 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 to the vast majority of the people in the world because uh, they are not paying attention, they are not watching. They are unaware. Uh, and in verse 35, For as a snare shall it come on all of them that were on the face of the whole earth, right? A snare, meaning like like a trap. You know, like like a, 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 a one day, you know, one minute things be all good, the next minute chaos, destruction all around you. That's how that's how the days of Yahweh Hashem are going to be. Uh, it says uh, verse 36 
watch your therefore and pray always and that's exactly what it is man we have to continue praying always i'm talking to myself as well right because uh, when we do these lessons we don't only we first have to teach ourselves and then teach everybody else you know what she dealt for and pray always that she may be accounted worthy to escape all these things and that's exactly what it is we want to be covered under the wings of Yahweh Shemeshai when all these things come to pass you know we're gonna be in the midst of it but we're not gonna be affected like the normal people you know we're gonna go through it but compared to the, comparing to the other people we're gonna know what's going on you know uh that she may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass because of uh, Yahweh Shemeshai is the one is the author of these things that's gonna come up on the earth. So if you are in good graces with your how about Shimshai, these things are not really are not re are really gonna affect you. I like that, you know. It says uh, all these things that shall come and stand before the Son of Man. And that's exactly like what it is, man. These things are gonna come. It's inevitable. This thing has to come, you know. Um matter of fact, let's get Ephesian. Matter of fact, before I get a vision, let's get a second Thessalonians 5. No, first Thessalonians, Thessalonica 5, verse 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no needs that are around to you. you know, so we have no needs because uh, we already know the playbook. The Lord Yahweh Shemshah already revealed unto us his secret, you know. The testimony of Yahweh Shai is uh, the spirit of prophecy. You know, we already know what time it is. For yourself know perfectly, you know, for yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as shall up a, a woman with child and they shall not escape and that's like what it is these things are gonna be around you you're not gonna be escape from those things if you are not covered under the wings under the shadow of your house but she brethren you know that's personal you brethren the house of david the hopeful member of the elect but she brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief Ye are all the children of light and children of the day. So the light is, Yahusha is known as the light in morning stars, right? The bright in morning stars, right? Light synonymous with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And we have the, the highest level of wisdom ever known to mankind. That's what we have, this light, man. You know? Ye are all the children of, of light and the children of of the day we are not of the night nor of darkness therefore let us not sleep you no know, meaning don't don't go back to your to, the, to your vomit don't go back to the world you know don't go back to this uh the scripture says he that I wonder in uh out of uh how does it go shall remain in the congregation of the dead you know it says um uh, uh, therefore, let us not sleep, I'll do others, but let us watch and be sober. And that's exactly what it is. We have to be sober to be aware. Matter of fact, let's look at the word sober real quick. Uh, sober. And it says uh, to be sober, to be calm, uh, calm, cool, and collective, right? <laughs> to be calm and collected, collected in spirit. To be temperate, uh, dispassionate, circumspect, to circumspect, right? Okay, circumspect. I was about to get Ephesian as well. Um, look up circumspect. Uh, circumspect. It says uh, uh, circumspect, circumspect, to be cautious. Um, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, 
to also give me more cheerful uh no I don't. yeah to circumspect mean to know what's going on around you uh it says uh uncertain affinity to abstain from wine 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 meaning other philosophy right to keep sober to be discreet to be sober to watch and that's exactly what it is man right um that's exactly what it is um go back to wait if uh second oh it's like your first Thessalonians 5 uh verse uh verse 6 therefore let us not watch as, as the others but let us it's like a but Therefore, let us not sleep as the others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, who are of your house shy, the bright, among, the bright and morning star, the Lord of David, yeah? be sober, putting on the, breath, the breast, breastplate of faith and love for a helmet, the hope of salvation. So we, we hope to be saved. We know Yahushai name is uh, synonymous with salvation. Yahushai, Yahi, Yahushai means save. He who save, he who have the power to save you, to redeem you from destruction. You know, for the Most High had not appointed unto us to wrath, but to ob to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahushai Kamashia, and that's exactly what it is, and that's uh that's what we should be sh or striving for, to be saved from the said perils that's about to come up on the earth. You know, Ephesians five. Ephesians five verse fourteen. Ephesians five verse fourteen, wherefore he said, "Awake, thou that sleepest, right? Awake, you know, be be awake, mean to to know what's going on, what's going on around you, to be circumspect, you know, to be paying attention." Matter of fact, let's get that. Matter of fact, let's get real quick. quick uh, Proverbs, Proverbs, Proverbs 22 and 3. Proverbs 22 and 3 says, uh, A prudent man foresee the evil. A prudent man, a, a, a man of knowledge, wisdom, understanding. A prudent man foresee the evil and hide it from self, but the simple pass on and are punished. So, what's gonna make a prudent man stand out? His wisdom, you know, is is knowing what's gonna happen, you know. It says a uh, prudent man foresee the evil and hide it from himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. And what's gonna cause the simple to be punished, to be destroyed? The lack of wisdom, for, but for him not taking heed, right? Go back to uh, Ephesians five verse fourteen. Let's finish it real quick. Ephesians five verse fourteen, and it says um. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead. You know, the dead is a, uh, 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 you know, the rise from the dead, this world, right? Bring forth nothing but death. And your house shall, shall give thee light. See then that you walk circumspectly, you know, circum, I mean, uh, know what's going around you, you know. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil, and that's exactly what it is. Evil days are coming, you know, a time like order, a time that cannot be rival with any other time in history. That's what's coming, man. So stay up and pray it up, stay up and pray it up, man, because uh, any day now. So that was a quick lesson, Lord willing. It was edifying. I want to say, Kahola Yemla, Allah Hayanawa, Yahaw Bashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Hawa Kakodash. Double honor to our elders, apostle of Jemez Hall. Well, until next time, shalom.